I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Longhorns. I'm Yuquan Tony, and you are watching the Roundup Report. Students, if you would like to attend the Black History Month program on Friday, you must purchase a wristband for the performance during lunch Wednesday and Thursday only. There will also be performances Friday evening as well at 6 p.m. This year's show will focus on the influence of African Americans on society in all aspects. Donations will be accepted at the door. We hope you will join us. Seniors still having trouble with the FAFSA? Do you need help? Join us for Leonard High School Financial Aid Night, Tuesday, February the 25th at 6 o'clock p.m. in the Media Center. Please bring with you your parents and their income tax information from 2018. Grad Batch tickets are on sale at MyPaymentsPlus.com. Students who want to attend must not have no ISS, OSS, or debt to Leonard High School to attend. Tickets are $135 and space is limited. The last day to purchase a ticket is this Friday. Seniors, do not forget to order your cap and gown. You can order at Balfour.fl.com. March 11th is the last day to order your cap and gown. The Media Center is closed all this week due to testing. Thanks for watching the Roundup Report, where we grab the news by the horns. Black History Month began as Negro History Week, which was created in 1926 by Carter G. Woodson. It didn't become a month-long celebration until 1976. Jack Johnson became the first African-American man to hold the World Heavyweight Champion boxing title in 1908. He held on to the belt until 1915, when Jess Willard took the title. John Mercer Langston was the first black man to become a lawyer in Ohio when he passed the bar in 1854. And George Washington Carver developed 300 derivative products from peanuts. Among them, cheese, milk, coffee, flour, ink, dyes, plastic, wood stain, soap, linoleum, medicinal oils, and cosmetics. February was chosen as the month to observe black history because it's the birth month of abolitionist and writer Frederick Douglass and President Abraham Lincoln. Because of the widespread interest in black history, during the civil rights movement in the South, some schools incorporated black history into the curriculum, with the hope of starting an intellectual movement that would advance social change. On the other hand, actor Morgan Freeman says a month dedicated to black history is ridiculous. In a 2005 interview on 60 Minutes, Freeman said, and I quote, You're going to relegate my history to a month? I don't want a black history month, black history is American history. And last but not least, countries around the world, including Canada and the United Kingdom, also devote a month to celebrating black history.